So we go on vacation for two weeks, and as we're driving, I look at my turtle cam I have set up, and here's what I see. Yeah, that's right. We have a female that's digging a nest. And wouldn't you know it, it's just right after we get started on our trip. So we're going to be gone for two weeks. So uh, I have my daughter's fiancé uh, come over and put a flower pot over top of the spot. And wouldn't you know it, it takes the female like eight and a half hours before she's finally done. She didn't get done till like 4.30 in the morning. So uh, we're getting ready to go dig up the eggs right now and see what we have. But uh, I've been really anxious about this our whole trip, and so finally get to go check it out. So come on, let's take a look. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to take this vermiculite. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do one part vermiculite with one part water. So, well, first of all, we're going to pour what we need of the vermiculite in a container, such as that. And then we're going to weigh it, and then we're going to put an equal amount of water in that as well. So, let's go ahead and do that. So, we got the vermiculite done. It's uh, got equal part of water with it. We got it filled up decently, but not too much. Uh, I have no idea how many eggs I'm going to have, so uh, just it's good to have this done beforehand. That way it's all ready to go for when we dig the eggs up. The other thing you might want to consider with, of course, having a, a lid is you also might want to consider uh, putting a cut on the edge of the lids because you don't want it to be just so tight that you're going to rock all the eggs whenever you... Uh, take a look at them by opening the top. You want it to come off relatively easy, so uh, you don't want to have to shake the whole container in order to uh, to open it up. So you might want to cut the corners of your lid and that'll help you with being able to take the, con the container lid off. I think we're about ready to go see what our nest looks like. So hang on. See the flower pot over there? That's where the female laid the eggs. And you see my turtle camera I've got right underneath this air conditioner from my garage. Let's get started and see what we can see. Take a look. Say hi. No, we didn't come out here to feed you. food for you. You're going to have to go over there.
everything's okay in here. like a mole tunnel. That's not good. Martha, what are you doing out here? Martha, I didn't come over here to feed you. Y'all are going to have to be patient. You're gonna have to relax over here.
All right, so we're back in the house. Four three-toed box turtle eggs. So now we're gonna set up the temperature gauge that's gonna go inside. And it'll tell us not only the temperature, but the humidity level. So we're gonna go ahead and set that up. I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's been close to two weeks since these were laid. But you can already see the chalking that's occurred, which is a really good indicator. I did my best not to move anything uh, when I was digging them up. All right, they are set. I've got them in the incubator. I've got my sensor that's in the incubator. And so we can check on the temperature and the humidity uh, really at any time. Here's the uh, sensor that I have. I'm going for, my goal is oh, around 84 degrees in that neighborhood and uh, probably 80 to 90 percent humidity from what I understand. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. And we'll have a lot more videos uh, coming up. So have a good day.